All right, everybody. Driving home from a river on a cold, rainy day. I can finally feel my toes. <laughs> but uh, that's not what I want to talk about today. I actually want to talk about rods. Kind of reminded me um, of something I've been asked a million times. And uh, these guys bouncing around on my windshield made me uh, remember. And that is, uh, what rod should I buy first? I've got a ton of rods. Not just because I'm a guy. I do a lot of different types of fishing. And you can't do everything with one rod. You know, people a lot of times compare fly rods to golf clubs. I don't know anything about golf other than the fact that you hit a ball with a golf club. But I do know that there's a bunch of different clubs in that bag and they all have a specific purpose. And fly rods are sort of the same way. So first thing you have to decide is what type of fishing are you going to do? You know, are you going to fish only for redfish on the coast? Or are you going to fish for big bass in the lakes or rivers? Or are you going to be a trout fisherman? You know, maybe fish for trout and uh, fish for panfish in some of the small creeks. All of those are going to require different tools to get the job done. Now, there is some crossover, you know. Your bass rod would probably be a good inshore saltwater rod. First thing is just deciding what you want to do the most. What type of fishing are you going to do first or most often? So for most people, freshwater fishing. And I would think for most situations... A six weight rod is probably going to be a good starting point. That's going to be perfect for fishing for bass in the rivers, um, you know, panfish in the creeks or ponds. You can throw a decent sized bug if you get out on the lake and you want to catch some bigger fish. It's also going to be perfect for trout fishing. Now, maybe a little bit heavy for some of your dry fly stuff, but you know, if you got to throw a nymph rig or you're throwing streamers, a six weight is going to work pretty well. And that's a good starting point. And then as you progress and you start doing more types of fishing, then you end up getting more rods, you know, kind of building up a system. So if you get a six weight and then you decide like, man, I really like dry fly fishing for trout in the mountains. Well, then your next rod, you probably get a four-way, you know, kind of step down uh, two sizes. And that's that kind of makes a noticeable difference. If you go from a six-weight to a five-weight, there's not really that much difference. So, you know, no point getting the five. No reason you can't get every size, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, but, but usually most people will just skip a size. So you got a six-weight as your first rod, then you decide, oh man, I really like that light dry fly stuff in the mountains, then get yourself a, a four weight. Uh, if you get your six weight and realize like, you know, I really do like throwing big bass bugs. I want to go to the coast and, and cast to some redfish or bonefish or something like that. And then you go from the six, jump up to the eight, and then you got a great rod for inshore saltwater fishing, great for bass throwing big bugs, you know, and then you know, you progress on and on as you go up, you know, maybe you get a 10 for throwing at tarpon or throwing really big bass bugs. On the flip side, same thing with the lighter rod, you know, it's like, man, you really get into fishing small mountain streams or you're catching panfish in some urban creek and you really want to make it more sporting with the little fish. So get yourself a two weight, you know. And you could do the same thing with the uh, with the odd numbers. You could start with a five, jump down to a three, or jump up to a seven. Same thing. Five, seven, nine would be you know a good way to do it if you decide you want to do some saltwater fishing. So yeah, just kind of to figure out what type of fishing you're most likely to do when you start out, and then you know get yourself that rod. You know, obviously, if you live in the mountains in New Mexico probably wouldn't want to get your first one as a six weight get a four you know and then if you end up going doing some streamer fishing for bigger fish then then get a six you know so just a little bit of thought ahead of time and you know you'll end up spending your money a little bit more wisely and you know you'll get something that hopefully you will continue to use until you've gotten your whole arsenal filled in 
And then you go back in and maybe go, okay, I got that inexpensive six weight to start with. And now I've got a nice eight weight and a nice four weight. So I'm gonna go back and replace my original six weight with a nicer six weight. And then you can pass that six weight along to somebody who's just getting into it, make them a good deal on it. And then they start their whole journey. Easy, right? Go out and get yourself a ride.